In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement phone authentication using Firebase and Flutter. The UI is simple, you just enter phone number and next screen is OTP. If you enter a valid OTP, it will redirect you to homepage and if it's not valid, it will give you the error message. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps that includes configuring Firebase with your Flutter project and generating the SHA-1 hash certificate and adding it to your Firebase project and making it as simple as it gets. So if you face any problem in this video or any other problem in Flutter in general, you can comment down and i will try to make another video on that and if you're new here consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and now let's get started and see how we can do this let's get started by creating a new flutter project now for phone authentication with Firebase, we need two packages. Let's import the packages in PubSpeak YAML. First package is Firebase Auth. I'm gonna copy this. And second package is Firebase Core. I'm gonna copy this one also, paste it here, save it. The next step is to configure Firebase with our Flutter project before we start designing our UI. You can create a new Firebase project or use an existing Firebase project that you have. I'm gonna use this coffee shop Firebase project from our previous video and simply configure this with our existing project. So to configure Firebase with your Flutter application, click on Add App and here choose Flutter. In this, make sure you have Firebase installed. So this right here, you can download the Firebase command line for Windows, Mac OS or Linux according to your need. You can also do that using NPM by simply copying this command line. I've already done that, so we're gonna start with this step Firebase login. So here in our VS Code, I'm gonna open a new terminal. Make sure it's command prompt, not PowerShell. Here I'm gonna say Firebase base login it is already logged in as this is my email address make sure this email address matches this firebase project that you have created the project after that we can list our projects to check if the project that we have created is here or not so here we have our coffee shop project next we have to initialize firebase in our current project so i'm going to copy this command and paste it here so it says are you sure you want to proceed yes here it says which features of Firebase you want to use. We have different features. If you're using phone auth, there's no option for phone authentication or authentication. You can choose any just to configure Firebase. So in this case, I'm gonna choose Firestore Firebase. By pressing space, we'll take a store on it and by pressing enter, it will choose it. Now, if you want to create a new project or use an existing, I will use an existing project because we have already created that using Firebase. Here, I'm gonna choose my project, which is coffee shop. It says Firebase rules. If you don't change anything, just it's okay. It's for Firestore rules, just press enter. You can press enter here also. Now the Firebase is initialized. You have got some files from Firebase in your project. We are going to close this website and here is the instruction to install Flutter. We can click next and here you can run this one and this one also. You can copy and paste it in the command. It just downloads all the required packages if you don't have. Now we can copy the second command which will add the configuration for this project into our current Flutter project. You can see the name of our project is here it will add the google dash json here and also it will add the firebase options in the lib folder you can watch that so here it asks which platform you are using right now we are testing for android so i'm going to take only android put in our package name you can get the package name from app build.gradle here my package name is this one so i'm going to copy it and paste it here press enter all right it's finished now you can see we have the google-services.json and also we have firebase options all of them is added automatically we don't have to go through the manual way and paste everything everything is done for us now we can close this command prompt and uh, this one also now in the firebase project we can click on next this one we will add it later on continue to console now here in the console you have to go to build and authentication get start from here you can choose any type of authentication you want so in this video we implement the phone authentication so we're gonna choose this one enable this and there are some configurations for apple android and web so we're gonna go for android we don't need to add these dependencies in our android it will work this is the old version there's nothing else for us to do here so i'm gonna close this save it and also come again here scroll down and at a test phone number verification would be one two three four five six now everything is ready we just have to build our ui and uh, start working with the authentication so for the ui i'm gonna clean everything we will have one screen for a direct phone number next screen for getting otp and the final screen for home page so i'm gonna copy this and here i'm gonna give it a prompt to generate the three screen for us 
all right it's done generating and here we have done all the steps creating firebase linking them together we also added the packages now we can simply copy the code for main.dart and paste it here next we copy the phone auth screen i'm going to create a new file here next we have otp screen i'm going to copy this and paste it right here import the packages uh, finally, we have the home screen, which is a uh, welcome to home. I'm going to create this one also, paste it here, import the packages. So we have all our screens, phone, auth screen, OTP screen, and home screen generated by ChatGPT. Let's now test our code and see if it works or not. So we got error for minimum SDK. We have to change it to 23. Let's go to build.gradle. Change minimum SDK to 23. Now save it. Run again. All right, our app is running here. And let's see what is the prefix for the phone number that we have to provide. So we also have to enter the country code for this. So I'm going to type in plus one. One, two, three, four, five, five. This is the test phone number that we have entered in our Firebase. So let me make it a little bit bigger. Send OTP. Now we are in OTP screen. If I enter anything randomly here, it says the verification code or OTP is invalid. And also now if I enter the correct OTP, it should verify us and take us to the home page. So it just worked, but sometimes it doesn't work and we have to add our SHA-1 hash key in the Firebase to make it work. We have to come to our project settings. Uh, we need to provide the fingerprint for SHA-1. And to generate the SHA-1 fingerprint, you have to come and copy this command line and paste it in your command prompt. So I'm going to copy this and here in the terminal, make sure it's a command prompt and you just paste it. Once you paste this command, it will ask for password. The default password is Android and it will give you the SHA-1 and SHA-256 hash key. You can simply copy this one from here and go to your Firebase, click on add fingerprint and paste it right here. This simply allows any request that comes from this Flutter project application in debug mode. And when you release your application, make sure to provide the release hash key as well like this one you can see we have the debug.key store similarly you will have release.key store which will be in the same directory once you followed all the steps for releasing apk sometimes it doesn't work with real device for real device you also have to get the sha1 key which is different and you add it in the firebase and it should work just fine. So that's it. This is how we can implement phone authentication using Firebase and Flutter. And if you have any question or video suggestion, make sure to comment down below and I will try to make another video on that. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.